Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and today I want to do a little video overview of the Silks Acrylic Glazes from Luminart by Creative Imaginations. So these are just as what uh, they uh, sound like, they are a glaze, which is kind of halfway in between an artist medium and uh, a, a paint. Um, it's a nice, thick, creamy, you can kind of see the consistency here. Um, it's a little thicker than, oh, let's say honey. Um, but it's really rich and really creamy. You can just see all of that shimmering color right there in that pot. It's a nice semi-translucent paint. Um, and what that means to you and me is that uh, if you go ahead and put it on something with a pattern, you are going to get to see the pattern underneath. So hold on just a second and I will kind of show you. This is the pattern paper. Again, you can kind of see that shine. It's um, not a satin finish and it's not a gloss finish. It's kind of like halfway in between. So you definitely get some shimmer, but it's not, you know, super, super glossy. Here it is on some plain cardstock. Here it is on some black cardstock. So, and some of them have kind of an interference color to it, so you get a secondary sparkle. But I mean, look how well that shows up on, on the black. I think that's pretty remarkable. Um, here is some uh, Sticky Back Canvas by Claudine Helmuth. And again, you can see here in this green, you get this iridescent green gold thing going on that is really, really pretty. So I, I can't wait to play with more on canvas because it just shows up so nice. Here's a piece of grunge board that I did. And I think it works out pretty well. Kind of liking it, yes. Um, and then this is a piece of just textured chipboard. And I used a little bit of the pink and the gold to make kind of this orange color. So it's kind of pretty. You can see it does um, have a lot of pigmentation in it. Uh, this is glaze on my fingertips and it stained me a little bit. So don't think that just because it's a glaze, it doesn't have a lot of pigment. Here's a piece of paper clay that I painted with it. And I'm trying to see if I can find a place where it's more in focus. No, not that way. This way you can see it. So um, it also has some raised texture to it. So um, one of the things you're going to make sure you do is when you open up the container, stir it like you saw me do with either a nice big paintbrush or perhaps um, with a Q-tip. I stirred mine up with a Q-tip and then at the end I just took all of my little Q-tips and kind of did this but you can see you get some nice texture to it. Um, so you get a little bit of texture. You also get some nice overglazing effects. So in this piece, I put the gold, the olive gold on first, olive green with the gold ear interference. And then after that, I layered on the yellow and then I layered on the purple. So you can see that, um, like especially in this area, the, the green really shows through. So you're not gonna get complete opaque coverage. Um, which is good. It's really nice for layering and you get a little bit of that texture effect as well. Even though this is relatively flat, it looks super textured because of that translucent layered effect. Um, so I want to show you, I uh, brushed some on a hand carved stamp and I stamped with it so it is a nice consistent, sometimes paint can be kind of thick. This is a really nice consistency to paint on a, on a stamp and then um, use it as a stamp ink. Here's a little uh, ATC in progress that I'm working on. And here I used the um, purple to stamp with. And then, I don't know if you can see, but really lightly you can see a little bit of honeycomb effect that I did with some bubble wrap. So I also just want to show you really quickly, you can use it as a resist. This is some uh, that I worked through a stencil. And if you go ahead and smudge it on top, here I'm using a uh, Radiant Rain Dauber. You can smudge it on top and then use a little bit of a baby wipe. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fun? And you can actually use it as resist, but instead of just getting the color of the paper underneath, because this is ivory, I'm actually getting gold. So it's kind of pretty. Isn't that nice? Fun, right? So anyways, that's kind of my overview of the um, silk Silks Acrylic Glazes by Luminart. They are a lot of fun to play with, uh, and I hope that you get your hands on some and get messy real soon.